Hello and welcome! In this video I will show you how to install and use the Gaia 2 Unreal Engine plugin. This plugin makes it easy to import terrains, even using world partition. If you remember from our Gaia 1 videos, we had to do a bit of manual calculation to get the scale correct. With this plugin, this is no longer necessary. Start Gaia 2 and select new project. Okay, so with Gaia launched, now go to the tools menu. We have install plugins. Click on Gaia 2 Unreal. This opens your web browser and downloads a zip file containing the plugin. Simply click on the file to open it. Go into the version you need. Uh, for me, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.4, so I will select this one. And simply copy this folder, Ctrl C or right click and copy. This folder needs to be copied into your plugins folder. That is your Unreal Engine installation directory and the folder is then engine and plugins. We can see I have already copied the folder here, but I can simply paste it one more time. Whenever there is a new version of the plugin, you have to do this again. Now let's start Unreal Engine. For this quick example, just select games and first person. These settings on the right hand side can just stay at their defaults. I will name this project Gaia plugin. Now go to the edit menu at the top and select plugins. Search for Gaia and simply click the checkbox to toggle it on. This is just a warning from Epic telling you to be cautious when using beta plugins as they may not always be of a quality good enough for shipping in a product, but we know what we're doing right, so click yes. And you will get this notice to restart your Unreal Editor for changes to take effect. Simply restart. If we search again here now, we see the plugin is active. We can close this window. And we have a new icon here. So this is the Gaia Landscape Importer. Let us go back into Gaia 2 and quickly create a simple terrain just to have something to test with. In Gaia we will build and export and then we will use this plugin to import the height map. So switch back to Gaia 2. Let's simply select a primitive mountain. Okay, this is good enough just for a test just to see that the plugin works. On the out here drag and simply type Unreal. So this Unreal node is also new to Gaia 2, not just the plugin for the engine. As I'm using the community version of Gaia 2, the export limit is 1024. So in the settings here, select 1009, which is the proper Unreal resolution. And this should stay at height. PNG is fine. You could use RAW 16, but the PNG is also 16 bit. Now you should go into Project, Build Settings. Let's make sure our build resolution is at 1K for now. For just testing the plugin, you wouldn't waste time rendering 4K or 8K anyway. Subdivision None Output Single Image. Then on the left hand side, select Build. And this is the build destination folder. So let's click here and then navigate to wherever you want it stored. So for me, that will be that temporary folder. This is where the height map will be built to. Select. So you just make sure you know where to find your way back. Then we can simply select execute build from this menu or we can go back to project, build and export, or control shift B. Then we do start build. Here we can see our 16 bit PNG. Go back into Unreal Engine. And for this, let's create a new level. Go to the content folder here and simply right click and select new folder call it levels. 
it's good practice to have all your levels in a separate levels folder just for proper organization. Then we go to the file menu and select new level. Let's select open world. Now the reason for selecting the open world template is that it already has a lighting setup, a very basic lighting setup, but it means we don't have to spend any time on lighting now just to see the results of our import, just so we can easily see our terrain. So it does have a landscape from before as well. We have to delete it. So simply expand the landscape here and select all these, all these streaming proxies. Now we are ready to use the Gaia plugin. Click up here. And don't pay any attention to these settings right now. Just simply click import height map here at the bottom left and navigate to the build folder. Here you can see our height map. Select it and then click open. Now everything here should be automatically calculated. We can see the scale setting now is 495, 495, 168. This is that manual calculation we had to do earlier. Uh, it is now correctly set to 495, 495, 168. So when we click create landscape here, the scale should be exactly as it is in Gaia. Make sure world partition is enabled. Create landscape. Creating landscape chunks, importing bits and bytes might be here for a while. With a 4K or 8K map, this will take a lot longer, but for our 1K, it should be pretty fast. Now, once it's done, you see the landscape here, and it contains all the streaming proxies. This one is the old one, so we can delete it. Now, simply double click this one, and you might have to turn your camera to see your landscape. Here's our landscape and it looks perfectly fine. Exactly as it is in Gaia. So that's how easy it is to use the new plugin. And I'll show you one more cool thing that we can actually change the landscape in Gaia and then easily update the changes and see them inside Unreal Engine. So. Let's go back to Gaia and we will do a small change. Select the mountain and let's do Alpine instead of old mountain. Now we simply go to project, build and export. Yes, start build. This will create a new height map file in the same folder as before, overwriting the old file. Let's go back to Unreal Engine. Okay, so nothing has changed. But let's right click the landscape in the outliner. Gaia landscape actions. Refresh landscape in place. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, this simply crashes my Unreal Engine editor. I have seen people make it work in a few YouTube videos, but just know that there is certain instability to the plugin, so it might work and it might not, but hopefully either Gaia team or Epic fixes this soon. I'm not sure if the bug is in the Unreal Engine editor or the Gaia plugin, but that's just a quality of life feature that we can be sure to get in the future.